Welcome to r slash I don't work here lady where entitled customers try to kidnap a little girl. So I work as an armed guard for an armed truck service. For those of you who don't know, we're responsible for picking up money and checks from other businesses, i.e. banks, stores, restaurants, etc. As part of my job is handling large amounts of cash, I carry a sidearm or handgun for those not into guns in order to protect myself and the money. Where I live, you have to have what's called a concealed carry permit to have such a firearm outside of work hours, which I have. So I am on my way home and have to stop at the store to pick up dinner for myself. The store I go to has employees that wear a blue polo and tan pants. My uniform is black pants and red polo with company name on it. And as I had just got off work, I still have my name badge on and sidearm in its holster on my hip. Cue crazy lady. I'm browsing the freezer aisle and she stops me and starts to ask where product Z is. She stops dead in her tracks as she sees my gun in its holster, stops talking, and fast walks out of the aisle. I just assume she realized I don't work there and left to find someone who does. I go about my business and proceed up to the cashier line. As I'm waiting to get up to the checkout, in comes a swarm of about eight police officers. They come straight to me with crazy lady behind shouting, That's him! That's the guy with the gun! They point their guns at me and order my hands up. I drop what I have and comply. I state that I work for Company Z and that I have a permit for my weapon. They lower and holster their guns after the commotion and apologize for the confusion, but said they got a call about a guy walking around the store waving a gun around. I say I'm sorry, but since I have been here, my gun has been holstered, never left the holster. They turn to the lady and ask if it's true that I never took my gun out of the holster. She yells that I'm lying and that I can't have a gun in this store anyway. They, of course, go and check the security footage and see that I did nothing wrong and let me go on about my business and apologize again for the misunderstanding. They then turn around and handcuff the lady who called and told her she is being arrested for misusing the 911 system and inciting panic. Not sure this entirely belongs here and I am open to comments. To be honest, while reading this story, I thought this entitled Karen was going to walk away completely scot-free, but I am so glad that she got arrested. What she did was so insanely dangerous, she 100% risked OP's life. Life. Our next story is from Flex Tape Girl. This was about three years ago, but my aunt recently brought it up, so I thought I'd share. This was a horrid experience, but I now look back and laugh. I was 14 and was visiting my aunt and uncle over the summer. My aunt works at the drugstore a few blocks away. One day, I had to get some feminine products as I had run out. So, I decided I'd bring some lunch and eat with my aunt on her lunch break. I went straight to the feminine products and, in my haste, accidentally knocked some down. So I had squatted down to pick them up. Note, I also had my earbuds in, listening to music. I was on the floor for maybe a minute when I was forcefully pulled up to a standing position. I turned and was met with a barbecue stained shirt. Looked up, I realized the guy wearing it was very angry and still holding onto my arm. He then started angrily ranting about how I shouldn't be wearing earbuds at work and should listen when someone was speaking to me. I gruffly say, I don't work here, go find someone else, and pulled my arm from his grip. Suddenly, he's furious. He grabs my arm and starts pulling me to the front saying he's going to get me fired for being such a rude jerk. I was literally being dragged against my will, so I start screaming, Help! I'm being sexually assaulted! He's trying to kidnap me! He told me to shut up and still wouldn't let go. People finally start coming around the corner as we get to the cash register. The lady there is horrified and tells him to let go of me and she is going to call the cops. He doesn't let go of me, but realizes he's gonna be in trouble. So, in an effort to cover his butt, he starts saying that I'm his daughter and I was trying to steal, and his wife is right here to prove it. His wife looks a little shocked, but quickly composes herself. She then marches right up to me and slaps me, saying, I didn't raise my daughter to steal. They... <laughs> they turn, still pulling me along, to leave. 
The whole time, I am utterly horrified and didn't really say anything. At this point, my aunt comes from the back room and is utterly shocked. She starts screaming to let go of me. They start yelling that they are just disciplining their daughter. My aunt, <laughs> my aunt screams back that I'm her niece and that they are going to jail. The guy, <laughs> the guy quickly let go of me and literally runs for the exit. The cashier lady followed them out, yelling at them. Turned out the cops had just pulled up outside and arrested them. I stayed in the back room as I was freaking out, but my aunt talked to the cops and pressed charges. They charged with <laughs> they charged with assault, attempted kidnapping, theft. They took their unpaid items with them when they ran, and something else that I can't remember. I know the guy got 18 months in jail and a fine, and the woman got a huge fine. Hey guys, have you ever accidentally kidnapped a teenage girl <laughs> because you put yourself in an awkward social situation and you're in too deep to just let it go? So you just have to double down and kidnap a minor? Yeah, don't you just hate it when that happens? And as ridiculous as this story is, I've really got to give props to that guy's wife in this story. I mean, she's probably like looking at candy bars and then <laughs> all of a sudden, for unknown reason, her husband is kidnapping a little girl and she just rolls with it. Talk about standing by her man. That woman is a keeper. Our next story is from Pennywise1235. I had an I don't work here lady moment yesterday. I'm in HVAC school right now, so I get out mid-afternoon most days. Yesterday, I get a call saying my brand new recliner chair was ready for pickup from the furniture warehouse. I ordered it a month ago and it just got to the distribution center. So I booked it over after class and thought about how great it would be to have a chair that's mine again and not falling apart. My current one is 14 years old and my daughters tend to claim it when I get up for more than 10 seconds. That being said, I get to the warehouse, go in and get the order process for pickup and back my truck to the bay door and wait. As told by customer service. Thus, the incidents. Older entitled dude pulls up in a very nice, very well polished Cadillac right next to me, two spaces over from bay doors and sits there. Looks around for a minute, sees me leaning on the tailgate of my truck, and stares at me for probably 30 seconds before he loses patience. I am obliviously looking at my phone and waiting for delivery of my chair. Hey! He yells this through his rolled down car windows. I heard his yelling, but didn't care enough to look up. Hey, I know you can hear me. He lays on the car horn at this point. What? Come here now. No, I'm good. Stupid little lazy doo-doo. Get over here and get my furniture order. Okay, this can't really be happening, so I sauntered over. What the heck are you barking about and why are you yelling at me? Because I'm a paying customer, and you're not being paid to sit on your butt, so get in there and get my furniture now. Okay, now I get it. You think I work here. Well, I don't. Yes, you do. You're dressed like a dirty warehouse worker. You're just being a lazy, entitled butthole. Keep in mind, this guy is yelling at me, calling me crazy and entitled while sitting in an $80,000 car. Look, old man, if you want your furniture processed, you have to go inside like everyone else and get the customer service people to process it. There ain't curbside service here. This is your last warning, punk. Go get my furniture. Okay, I'm going to go back to wait for my stuff now. Right about then, the bay door opens and an actual employee comes out with my chair on a dolly. Employee is wearing shorts, sneakers, a harness, and a t-shirt that says the furniture store on it. I'm in a hoodie, long work pants and boots, so no actual resemblance to the employee. Employee helps me load the chair still boxed up into my truck and I sign the sales receipt for it. Meanwhile, older and titled dude has finally gotten out and is stalling his way over, complaining to the heavens over all the injustices of the world and how millennials are ruining everything. I guess I'm a millennial now, even though I'm over 40 and my beard is going gray. 
I got the chair all strapped down and hopped out of my truck bed, shook the actual employee's hand, and got in and started my truck. Employee must have been used to the insanity of entitled customers because he was completely ignoring the older entitled dude. Instead, he just pushed the dolly back in and closed the bay door. Older entitled dude was hollering and cussing up a storm as he started up and drove away. Not the most satisfying story, but still ended with a smile on my face. I think the only responsible thing for OP to do in that situation is to actually help him load the furniture, but in the process, make sure to ding up and scratch his $80,000 Cadillac as much as possible. Our next story is from Smokewater. This just happened today. I'm at my local Wally World, Walmart, dressed in my Hawaiian shirt, shorts, and just not looking anything like an employee of Walmart. I am with my cart, grabbing chips and salsa for a gathering I have this evening. A nice gal of about five foot nothing asked me to help her get some chips from the upper shelf. Why is it the shelves for the chips are always empty at this Walmart? I, being 6'6", get asked often to grab things from the high shelves. I feel for you vertically challenged folks. So I grab the chips and pass them to her. She thanks me and goes on her way. Then it happens. The huff. I turn and see another woman. She says, now that you're done flirting, where can I find the batteries? I chuckle and say, well, what kind? She cuts me off and starts clapping. Where are the batteries? I then say, I'm sorry, you don't need to clap. I don't work here. She cuts me off again and says, don't have me get your manager. Where are the batteries? Now, I knew what she was asking, but being that I hate clappers, it's the rudest form of communication possible. I say they are over in the automotive section. Just talk to one of the service techs out there, and she storms off. I continue my shopping, when about five minutes later, I hear the scream. That's not what I wanted! Where is that butthole associate? I start grinning. Here it comes. She hunts me down and says, They only have car batteries there. I wanted small batteries for electronics. I look at her, I smile, and then say, You were not specific. Her mouth drops open. She gasps like I just stole all the oxygen from the area. She then says, Where is your manager? Now, I work remotely for my company. My manager works in a different state. I say to her, likely in St. Louis. As I tried to tell you, lady, I don't work here. I then turn and walk away while she spews hate and vulgarity in my direction. I am calling it a good day. Don't clap at me. I'm not performing for you. OP in this story says he hates clappers like it's a common thing that happens to him in life? Is this something that people do? I have literally never seen someone do this in real life. Let me know down in the comments if you've ever come across a clapper like this. Our next story is from Mozilla the Laptop Killer. This will be a stretch fit for this sub, but it's a good story. I used to be a service consultant at a Mercedes-Benz dealership. A guy in his 20s just bought an older car and comes in for the first time, so I help him out. I get all his info and create a new customer profile in our database. This takes about 5-10 to 10 minutes, so I usually casually talk to the customer during the process. I notice he looks tired as heck, so I ask him if he worked third shift or something, since it's about 8am. He mentions he's been up all night as a bodyguard for his wife. He hands me a camouflage business card with her cam girl name and web address all over it. He casually mentions, If you ever get feeling a little lonely, give her a look online. She does Skype shows, phone calls, and other stuff too. I put the card on my desk. He signs the repair order and I verify the phone number I'll need to call later that day to get approval for repairs. A few hours later, after the technician has diagnosed the car's problem, I call the number and a woman answers. We'll refer to her as Cam Girl. Hey there, it's OP from Mercedes. The Cam Girl in a quiet, bedroomy voice. Did you send the picture? I'm sorry, I'm not sure what you mean. You're supposed to send me a picture of yourself before we start playing. Then maybe we'll meet up. I apologize again, but I don't know what you're talking about. I started to wonder if I dialed the wrong number. 
Right here, I realize this is the wife and she thinks I'm trying to party. This is OP from the Mercedes-Benz dealership. I'm calling about your Mercedes-Benz. Your car needs serviced, not me. Cam girl's voice changes instantly and she starts talking normally. Oh, so what's going on with the car? After the call, I took the business card and ran back to the shop to tell all the techs what happened. Our next story is from NGA Mako. I work as a substitute teacher at various local high schools. I am 24, but obviously look younger according to this teacher. The angry teacher said, Why aren't you in uniform and no phones during school? I thought he was talking to a student, so I ignored him. Excuse me, don't ignore me, he said as he snatched my phone out of my hand. What the freak? Give that back, I'm not a student. That's detention for swearing at a teacher. You will get your phone back at the end of the day. Now you will come down to the office and tell the principal about how disrespectful you are being. By this point, I thought it would be funnier to let him complain to the principal who I play netball with and watch his reaction. He was raging, saying I deserve to be suspended and that students always had their phones out, yada yada. The principal and I were just trying not to laugh before she told him I was a teacher too. Now give me my phone back. Don't you have a class to teach? Because I do. I have never seen anyone go so red. That was r slash I don't work here lady and allow me to formally apologize for that terrible sexy bedroom voice.